All right, today we get to do a little bit of a fun experiment just so you can see how different soils perform and uh, how a soil penetrant uh, wetting agent will actually help the soil retain and absorb the moisture a lot better. So I've got three different soils here. I've got Light Warrior, which is a seed starter from uh, Fox Farm. I've got the seed and cutting mix from Fertilome, and I've also got the ultimate potting soil from Fertilome as well too. Now, big differences in the soil. So the Light Warrior is made for seed starting and for cuttings. has a lot of perlite vermiculite in there and some peat moss. It's a really light, very, very porous mixture. So it uh, drains through really, really well. So it's got really ultimate drainage. Uh, the seed starter from uh, from Fertilome is basically, it's just a finely milled peat moss and vermiculite. So it's really light and fluffy and they add just a little bit of perlite in there for drainage as well too. So this is a, a really light, nice, very, very uh, workable mix for starting seeds and also for doing cuttings. And then the ultimate potting mix is more of a potting soil. So it's got chunkier uh, perlite in it. You can see the big pieces of perlite. It's got uh, peat moss and humate and a little bit of a wetting agent. But uh, what we have experienced and what most gardeners experience is when you water these mixes, the water doesn't penetrate in very well. Water and soil kind of repel each other. And so a lot of times it's really hard to get the, the soil to absorb and maintain and, and retain that moisture. It wants to just sit up on top. Now. Uh, Here's, this is just plain water, so I've just got just straight water in here. There's a half a cup of water. I'm going to put it into the Light Warrior, and uh, with the Light Warrior, as you can see, it just it just puddles up on top. It doesn't it doesn't go into the soil. So there's just a big a big puddle of water here, and it's already draining out through the bottom. So I only put one cup of water in there, and it takes forever for it to work its way down in. But it just is pouring right out the bottom of the of, of the container, and it's not really hydrating the soil. It's just washing through that drainage, and it's not and it's not absorbing the moisture. Now the Fertilome seed and cutting mix will absorb the moisture a lot better because they put a little bit of a wetting agent into it. Now it, it does about the same thing, so it's just running right straight through and uh, it's not really absorbing and retaining that moisture the way it ought to. And the ultimate potting mix, we'll see how that works. Let me put that half a cup of water in there spilling a little bit off the top but as you can see it just it just doesn't want to penetrate down into the soil and it takes a little while but it, it starts to drain out through the bottom as well too so we've got these here in the back that as we put that half a cup of water in it just it just ran out the bottom now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a wetting agent in which is called water in and there's a lot of different ones out there we've used aqueduct from Fertilum before in the past uh, the water in it is from Brant we we'll use easy wet from grow more there's some really great products and what this does is it, it, it makes the water so it's much more attractive to the soil. And when you water it, it will hold all that moisture and it saturates through the soil completely so you don't have that, that water draining out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in, in with our water that's, that's here in this container. You use about a couple tablespoons per gallon, so we don't need very much to make this work. I'm going to add that in and shake it up. So it gets mixed in. All right, we're going to try it again. Now remember how quickly that water just drained out of these containers. We're going to do the same thing. So half a cup of water with that wetting agent in there. Now see, it's not sitting right on the surface and it's not draining out the bottom. So as you can see, the water just, just went, penetrated right directly into the soil almost instantly. And can you see, it's, it's hydrating all the way through. So can you see the pot's already turning wet on the outside here? That's just from a half a cup of water. It's already soaking through all the soil and it's starting to hydrate the pot, these peat pots up as well too. So this one we watered, what, three, four minutes ago? and it still hasn't hydrated the pot up. And this one we watered you know, seconds ago and it's already hydrating the pot. We could probably put another half a cup of water in there and it's gonna retain almost all that moisture. So that's what the wetting agent will do for your potting soil to help it retain and absorb the moisture. I mean, it's a noticeable, visible difference of what it does with a good either seed starting mix or a potting soil. 
that one drained through interesting it's just the different types of soil how they work but it's like hydrated it up you can feel like the extra moisture where it really drained through but see it's hydrated the pot up as well too so it did allow a little bit of that moisture to come through but it retained that moisture to hydrate up the pot and I think the the ultimate potting mix is going to do the same thing and we'll see how that works yeah, see it's just not it's just not puddling up on the surface like it was before. And now it's just really starting to hydrate that that soil up. You can see it's not allowing any of that drainage to go through. So look at that. Big difference in how the water works in your soils and how moist that soil is when you use a wetting agent compared to no wetting agent, it's still dry up here on top and it hasn't hydrated all the way through. So we've got a lot of different soils and they work very differently, but when you add a little bit of a wetting agent to it, it makes your soils perform a lot better. They hydrate up all the way through. It holds that moisture and it works its way all the way through the soil and you don't have all that excess water draining out. Actually holds it and then when it gets hydrated, it allows all the excess water to drain out. So very interesting experiment today here on how a lot of your potting soils will work and how a wetting agent or a soil penetrant can help you be much more effective in your watering when you're planting.